Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh and in this video we will be talking about inborn errors of metabolism, prenatal screening and newborn screening. So there are about 500 inborn errors of metabolism do existing and while individually they are rare and the incidence for inborn errors of metabolism collectively is about 1 in 1000 newborns. India with 28 million births every year, the magnitude of the problem is very high. Undetected cases of metabolic disorders leads to permanent mental retardation, sometimes death as well. So here, the first thing to note about metabolic disorders is Gerard's tetrad. So Gerard's tetrad is the four common metabolic disorders are there, including alkaptinuria, pentosuria, cystinuria and albinism. So, alkaptinuria, cystinuria, albinism, all these three are related to inborn errors of protein metabolism, whereas pentosuria is related to carbohydrate metabolism. So, Garrett coined the word inborn errors of metabolism in the year 1909. So, importance of early detection. Recognition in early infancy is of great importance because treatment may prevent irreversible clinical consequences or death. Example, if you talk about phenylketonuria, galactosemia and maple syrup urine diseases. In some conditions, a definite diagnosis will either prevent further ill effects or precipitating factor should be avoided making of these conditions. Examples include familial hypercholesterolemia, glucose phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, acute, uh, acute porphyrias, cystinurias and hemochromatosis. So, when to consider a metabolic disorder? Suppose like catastrophic neonatal presentation, biochemical disturbances, liver disease or dysfunction, neurological futures and cardiac futures, skin eye symptoms, coarse facies, signs of a storage disorder. Often these symptoms occur in a child who is otherwise healthy at birth. 